there and welcome to my new vlog today i have some news for you but it's about myself i'm actually heading to collect my new car yes i bought a new car <laughs> i actually bought this car two weeks ago but i had to wait for two weeks because i bought it from sydney and it had to be towed not towed really it had to be transported to melbourne and because of the border closure because of covid restrictions uh it was a bit slow things were a bit slow so today i got a phone call that my car has been delivered to the depot i needed a new car because the one that i was using was old and tired and exhausted I was driving a 20 sorry it's not 20 something or it's 209 i was driving a 2009 mazda 2 i was getting a bit tired of it because it was a bit outdated like i couldn't charge my car uh sorry no <laughs> i couldn't charge my phone uh it was very noisy if i'm talking to someone while driving because of all the noise it was producing and it had already you know clocked a lot of kilometers it's over 200,000 kilometers so i thought i really needed to buy a car i'm taking an uber right now because i'm going to collect it from the depot the company called me and told me hey uh your car is here uh you need to come and collect it i wanted to go and collect it myself from the depot because uh getting delivered here costs extra money and i've already spent money to buy that car i'm going to collect it myself come with me if you may and i will show you my new car Toyota CHR Coba. As you can see here, there's a, there's a. Can you see that? Can you see that? Okay, okay. My camera is a little bit slow. Yeah, if you can see here, there's a Coba. A Coba means it is at the top of the line. So uh, this Toyota CHR is at the top of the line. Yeah. As you can see, I'm holding two good keys here. One of those is going to be a spare, and I'm going to keep it very far away in a safe place. I'm not even thinking. going to be my main key. I call it my main man. I am the legitimate owner of Toyota CHR Coba. And as you can see, it has the New South Wales number plates. Uh, that's uh, that will be changed because I'm in Victoria and uh, I'm allowed to drive it for three months, up to three months before I change. I want to talk about this new baby. I had a dream, and this was my dream for the last two years. Um, I don't have big dreams. I didn't have big dreams to drive a Mercedes or drive a BMW, you know, I, I'm not a fan of those cars. I love Lexus, but at the moment, this was my dream. I set small goals. I don't go big, I just go step by step and this is where I am at the moment. At the moment, this has been my dream and uh, Lupita Nyonga said, your dreams are valid, my dreams are valid. Finally, I bought this car and I bought it two weeks ago. I've been waiting for it to be delivered because, I, as I told you, I bought it in interstate and because of Corona, the borders are shut and uh, things are a bit slow to move. So yeah, I've been waiting and it has been the most impatient two weeks of my life because I, I was dreaming about it. You know, having bought a car and you can't drive it, you still have to drive to work your old ratchet car. That was my car. I really hated my car, but I mean, it served me well. Oh, my camera is misbehaving. What, what are we doing here? What are we doing? What are we doing? Don't, please don't. So yeah, it served me very well. And um, now I can say, I can send it parking. I can send my old car parking, RIP car. First time I saw this car was in 2018 and i loved it i didn't know anything about the car but i loved its shape i loved the outlook i loved everything about how the car looked on the outside and that is what we love as women we love things on first sight and, and, and i know that's the car that i want to buy and of course i am going to take you through a small tour about this car not that i know anything about cars i don't know much about cars but uh, the first decision that i made about buying this car was the fact that i love the outside the other reasons of course i couldn't just go and buy the car from uh, the fact that it looked good on the outside i had to learn a little bit more about it so i am just going to take you through the car just to show you how the car looks like i don't know much about the car because i haven't driven it yet it's going to be as new to you as it will be new to me and some of the things i won't know how things function the accessories and all those things yeah so let's get to look at the car
Ah, shall we? Now, this is Achilles. I just need to press this button. And voila! The car is on, the engine is on. We have a Toyota logo displaying itself on the screen. I told you this car is as new to me as it is to you. What do we start with? I can see there's a lot of buttons on the wheel. I am yet to figure out what they are all for, but I think uh, there are some for the stereo system. Then I can see we have the cruise control here. One interesting thing about this car is that it has heated seats, as you can see here. It's a hot day, and if I turn that on, as you can see, this three orange lights displaying itself is that orange or yellow whichever floats your boat also has on the passenger side as you can see to reduce the amount of heat uh, going through your seat you need to press it and it goes to two and then it goes to one and then it switches off same here I believe this is the front uh, dash camera here it comes with the car pre-installed already I am able to figure out what this is i can see there's two compartments here for the cup holder this is one of them and then behind the gear there's another one here and then we have the big one here which you can close it and rest your arm open it and put your stuff inside behind there there is uh, a lot of space but not as big as uh, the sedan kind of cars uh, it's a bit uh, claustrophobic i don't think uh, you get much access of the outside view if you're seated at the bar. Uh, overall I'm really impressed with the car. It's stylish. The only thing is that I noticed this is a typical Toyota screen. There's nothing much that has changed with this screen. So if you look at all Toyotas they almost have this kind of screen and they haven't advanced from here. Thank you very much for watching my video. Sadly we have come to the end of it all. Now uh, I know a lot of you might have wanted to know much more information than what I provided for you but I'm really sorry because I'm not into cars I have no passion for cars I don't know much about it if you want to know more about the car you can always go online and check it out but you can always also trust Toyota Toyota is the easy car the easy to manage the easy to maintain uh, the easy to buy and all things that come with Toyota well I'm talking as if I'm being paid by Toyota to market their car. No, I'm not being paid by Toyota. Other than that, I am impressed with the car. I love it. I couldn't ask for more. I'm happy and I'm happy with this purchase. And I'll be driving this car for quite a long, long, long time. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. And also remember to press that bell button so that every time I upload a video, you will get a notification and you'll be able to watch it. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you very much. See you in my next vlog. Ciao.